In this video, you'll see me harness a dog outside of his kennel. This dog can be very reactive at the sight of other dogs from inside his kennel. He will bark and lunge towards the kennel door. When people enter his kennel, he will frantically jump on them and also jump on the kennel door in anticipation of being leashed and leaving the kennel. As he passes the kennels next to him, he charges each of them and barks at the dogs within sight. So in order to set him up for success, I did a few things. Number one, before taking him out, I dropped the guillotines in all the neighboring kennels or any kennel that he had to pass before exiting the building. I slowly dropped the guillotines and tossed treats for each dog inside. Number two, as I entered this dog's kennel, I tossed treats on the floor while I clipped the leash to the collar. Then I used a treat magnet to lure him outside to the kennel that you see here. Since the neighboring dogs were not in visual sight, his reactivity was a lot lower and he moved quickly to the exit. Number three, instead of trying to harness him inside the kennel when his arousal levels were really high, I decided to bring his harness outside to a much calmer environment and dress him before the walk. Number four, I give him ample space and breaks throughout the harnessing process, and I use food to give him something to do while I clip the harness. And lastly, number five, once I have the harness on securely, then I could clip the leash and head out for a walk. I would categorize this dog as stressed. He chooses to remain perpendicular to my body, watching my movements. His spine is straight. His tail is held above his spine slightly and is wagging pretty quickly with tension. He walks away from me often and he has stress lines in his face. All of these indicate to me that he is stressed in this particular situation. If you decide to use no pull harnesses, such as the sensation harness, the easy walk harness, or the balance harness, which I highly recommend, I would designate a spot for volunteers to put them on safely outside of the kennel. Leaning over and clipping the harness can be very invasive for some dogs, and it's safer to give them choice and control over the process by taking many breaks and reading their body language throughout. 